found this really cool craft and I had to share it with you. We are going to be making hanging snowflakes out of clothespins. Awesome, right? I know, I can't even get over how easy, how easy this is and how cool it comes out looking. So, to start, you're going to need to go purchase some clothespins. 97 cents um, at my local Walmart, so super cheap. And then I also ran to my local um, little craft store and I grabbed a pack of minis. And I've already taken these apart and done um, all the steps on them. So, when you first get them out, you're going to rip open your pack of clothespins. And this is how we're going to start. We are going to pop them all apart. You're going to end up with these little tiny silver bracket pieces, the springs. We'll figure out a craft to do with those later. Okay, you're gonna pop them apart and you're gonna end up with a big old pile of these, like so. Now for some of them, like this one is a little bit different. You need 16, okay? You can make them a little more intricate. I've got small ones with the big ones mixed in. Again, 16, um, but just, or I'm sorry, this one's 20. So um, 10 of each on that one. One, just a small one. Really neat looking, I like all the different kinds. So, then you're gonna need um, some hemp. I went out and bought hemp. Um, I like the way it looks, because we're gonna stain this these ones when we're all done. Or you can use ribbon. This is a glittery ribbon, and if you wanted to paint them white or a blue with white glitter, anything like that'll work. And then you're gonna need your trusty glue gun. I've got plugged in and I've got it sitting on a piece of wood um, to protect my table. Put down drop cloth or you know newspaper or whatever to protect your table. And then you're gonna need a pair of scissors as well to cut your hemp. So to start, like I said, break apart as many clothespins or just get a good pile going like we've got over here. And now you're all ready to go. So we're gonna cut a piece of the hemp first. You can make this any length you want because you're gonna hang them wherever you want or hang them however you want. So we're gonna go roughly like eight inches or so, okay? And you wanna do this step first so you don't forget um, your hanging part. So we're gonna take one bottom piece or a top piece or whichever piece, we're gonna put a little bit of glue on each end. So we're gonna take our hemp, we're gonna put it right in the glue. We're gonna take our other piece right on top, like so. You're just gonna hold it for just a second, just enough to give the glue enough time to set. And that's it. Now we've got our hanging piece. You're gonna repeat this as many times as necessary to get enough to make your snowflake, however many you want on it. So see, it really goes quickly once you get going on it. They can bust some of these out in like 10 minutes. So, let me get all these put together and I've got a few over here already made. We can go right into it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put together. So, once you get the ones, however many you want, we're gonna make an eight-sided one. We're gonna use small and big. So, we're gonna take this and you kinda wanna lay it out first because some of the clothespins are a little bit different. Um, once you get going, you'll notice that some of them do lay a little bit different than other ones. So you can lay it on your table if you want. Like so just make sure where they're gonna meet up. And then you just wanna put glue on one side and then put them like this, okay? You're just gonna let it set for just a second, right to the next piece. And if you do it quick enough, once you get to the final piece, However they line up, you can kind of move them around a little bit to get it exactly how you want it. <clears throat> so now you've got this part, four and four, like that. Now I'm gonna take these little ones, and again, these were just mini um, clothespins that I did the same exact thing to. I bought them at a local craft store. We're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in between, like this. So we're gonna take them and we're gonna stick them right in here in these little openings like this. Again, this is such a fun craft. And the kids could paint these and you could hang them on your trees. I'm gonna show you my finished mantle that I've got them all hanging from because they look amazing. And again, I'm staining them. I like them stained. Um, I'm gonna make some. Me and the 
kids are going to make some for Christmas for them to paint. And it's a really inexpensive craft too. And it's super fun. And it can be a little bit different for everyone. Let's see. All right. And literally within, what, five minutes, if that, we have a snowflake to hang up. So I'm going to go grab my stain. I'm going to stain these. And then I'm going to show you what they look like when they're all done. I've got them all stained. I'm going to show you what they look like when they're all done. This is one of the smaller ones. They turn out really nice. Again, I'm not sure what they're going to look like painted. I am going to try one just so I can see, but I really like the rustic effect of this. Next, I'm going to take you to my fireplace to show you exactly what they look like when they're hung up. Okay, so this is not where I'm going to be hanging my snowflakes for the upcoming winter, but because it is so gloom and doom outside right now where we live there's no good lighting in my living room so you can't even see them even with my overhead fan on so I wanted to make sure that I could at least show you what they look like when they're dead so if we pull one off right here they look awesome and they were cheap inexpensive and they're really fun and again you can paint them have your kids paint them there's even um, smaller ones than these over here so you can make even tinier ones ornaments great gifts. I think they're really cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you guys have a ball making these awesome snowflake um, wall hangings, decorative decor, you know, anything you want to turn them into. I think they're amazing. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe Creative Home Life and check out my other great videos for more tutorials on great crafts, product reviews, and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.